loves, I'm so excited to talk about you and your dreams and your goals and your ambitions because I know that you're secretly, or maybe not so secretly, hugely ambitious. If you allowed yourself to pause and think about it, you have wild, crazy, unrealistic, impossible dreams that make you so giddy, excited at the possibility. And because you thought it, because you dreamed it, because you have that ambition, that is the, the spark, that is the seed that can be the beginning. But often it doesn't feel like we're that ambitious or that we can actually make these things happen most of the day. Our lives don't look like we're hugely ambitious people. People probably wouldn't necessarily guess that about you or know that about you. Um, it is a secret inside, possibly just quite how ambitious you are or how ambitious part of you is. And I truly believe that the reason more of us are not pursuing our ambitions, following our dreams and realizing our goals and manifestations is because we've been taught to get there the hard way. <laughs> and there are certain things in our life that we are not willing to sacrifice. We have standards and we have boundaries and we might, might not be super conscious of them. But when we try and force ourselves and work hard and hustle and be singularly focused and sacrifice, there's a point at which we can only do that so much for so long. We can only compromise our own alignment and our own integrity for so long until we stop. And this from the outside and from the, you know, paradigm society has put on us often looks like we are giving up. We are giving up on our dreams. We are stopping working towards our goals. We have failed. And that is not the whole picture at all. Okay, I really have so much important stuff to share today. I want to make sure I slow down and I really express and share with you so that you feel the different pieces of this puzzle. So if you allow yourself to think in another life, I might do this. I might have done that. I might be working towards this. In 10 years, it would be so fun if I was here, if I was doing this, if my life looked like that. If I won lotto is such a common one. If I won lotto, this is what I would do with those millions of dollars. What those phrases allow us to do is release the limitations. If I won lotto takes away the financial pressure. It means that I don't have to worry or concern myself with how much money it costs. If I think about in 10 years time, it takes away the pressure of time. Because we think, oh, I'd really like to do that, but I can't do that next month. I can't do that in six months. A year is not long enough. And we put that time constraint on us. If we think about in another lifetime, I might do this. It takes away the limitations of our own uh, beliefs about ourselves and our capabilities and what we can and can't do. Now, we can remove all of those limiters in this life for ourselves. And yes, we are going to grow and change and shift as humans and people because that is what we are here to do. We are here to grow. But it's so useful and interesting to, first of all, just see, see the part of us, that little glimmer, that spark, that ambitious part of us that we are different uh, people are recognizing to different levels <clears throat> because we have big ambitions. So for me, like when I think in another life, in another life, I became a travel writer on a cruise ship 
And there was a time in my life when I was like 16 or 17 and before I went and studied a degree in IT and a creative writing diploma on the side where there was an ad that I so vividly remember in the newsletter from the writing school I was um, a student at for travel writers on cruise ships. I so vividly remember we like time after time seeing that in the newsletter and being like, that would be so cool. But I didn't have the self-confidence and the independence to be able to actually do that for myself at that time. So for me, and I, I, <laughs> I have this feeling that I will end up there. I will end up still in this life, traveling around the world with my husband on a cruise ship once the kids are like grown and stuff. Um, and I will be writing about my experiences and sharing my experiences. Because what do we do as coaches and mentors, but learn from our life? and create content inspired by our life, which is essentially what a travel writer does. Um, so there are parallels, there are seeds, there are sparks, there is so much, uh, like, there's so much of, I want to say knowledge or information, but it's really that seed concept. Because in a seed, the seed itself is all you need to create a gigantic oak tree, right? The seed itself has all the information it needs to be able to grow into something more. So when we can tap into what our big ambitions are, even just thinking about them is going to start us on that path because the seed within us, that inner knowing has all of the information, all of the knowledge it needs to grow into the, you know, I don't know, expression of what it is supposed to be. So other big ambitions I want to create a multi-million dollar business. I want to be a multi-millionaire, maybe billionaire, but my brain hasn't quite expanded to that quite yet. Um, I want to be on the boards of nonprofit organizations that are using money in a really, really good way. I want to be the money woman. <laughs> I want to be able to like preserve history and retell our history and honor the voices and the people who have been suppressed. And I want to be the woman who walks on and go, yeah, I'm going to throw money at that. Let's restore that. Let's retell that. Um, because that just is such a high value of me. And it's so important and it feels so fun. And for so many projects, the communities are there, but the money is the thing that's not there. And to be able to do that. And that's where I think particularly – um, as women or heart-centered entrepreneurs in business, we want to make a lot of money to really use that money in good ways, in ways to change the world, in change, in ways to enrich our communities and the future generations and to heal. And it's really exciting. And by the way, because we're in a both end world and we want the beautiful houses with the spa pools and we want to go on the luxury vacations and we want to spend $200 on candles filled with crystals that I may have done the other week. So amazing. Connect in with that ambitious part of you. I know, I know you are ambitious. I know you have maybe a secret ambition that you're not even allowing yourself to admit. Um, but you, I think a lot of people watching this are probably like allowing themselves to dream a little bit. But I know that there are big, wild, crazy ambitions inside of you. And people on this planet have been making big, wild, crazy ambitions a reality for generations. <laughs> hey, Natalie. So nice to see you. So the trouble, the problem happens, right? We say, okay, yes, I'm admitting this ambition to myself. But then when we start to wonder, right, how do I actually go about pursuing this ambition? We get stuck and blocked and limited because we feel like we have to invest a whole lot of time, money and energy that we feel we probably don't have or we aren't ready to invest it yet. And that doesn't say anything about your commitment to that ambition. That's really important. And I'm going to be talking more about that because, um, but that's the thing that stops us. We're like, oh, but to do that, I have to do it this way because this is the path I know. This is the next step that I can think of. And I don't have the money, the energy, the time to do that. I, that just feels like such a big step and such so separated from us. Now, here's a little clue though. If we sit 
with the ambition, with the idea in ourselves, that's actually going to grow and integrate into who we are. And we're going to start to become the person who thinks, oh yeah, maybe I could audition for that show of Grease because that could be really fun. And you just sit with that. So that when the steps come to be like, you need to email the casting director and ask to be put on the wait list might take you a few days of thinking about it, but it integrates. And so when you do it, you do it with a whole lot less resistance. When we think about how to pursue our goals and ambition, we feel like we have to sacrifice and compromise. I am not about those two things. They can fuck right off. But this is, that's a tangent. Um, We feel like we have to sacrifice time with our family, focus and energy and attention on our family. We feel like we have to compromise ourselves and our well-being. And we feel like we need to give up some of the fun and freedoms and space we have in our life now to do, to pursue our dreams because we're doing it from this hustle, hard work, sacrifice place. Now, A lot of people in my community, we've kind of caught on to this whole like there's a world of ease and um, flow out there, but we are, the conditioning runs so deep that this will keep popping up every now and then. Even if you're like, no, I have completely like, I don't know what the word is, like resigned is not the word, but like completely like divorced the idea of that path, it creeps in. And we start to think, okay, this is the next step, but I have to do it this way. You don't have to do it anyway. You get to do it your way. And this is where I think, especially for mums and women, but I know there are a whole lot of men out there who are also not pursuing their dreams and ambitions because they feel like they have to do it a certain way and they are not prepared to do that. This is where I think it comes, uh, it's, it's showing up a lot for women and mothers, but I do think there's a whole lot of men who are afflicted by this problem as well. So I don't want to just limit it to that. Um, because we have an inner knowing, we have standards, we have the life we want to live and we are not willing to compromise it. It's, it's very much that, that energetic standard that we talk about a lot in the, the manifestation world and, and like energetics is like, this is the level we're at and we are not prepared to compromise it. And so we might try to use our decision making and our willpower and we try to force ourselves to compromise those things because it's in pursuit of the goal, in pursuit of the dream or the ambition, but we can't sustain it. We can only compromise it for so long. We can only um, do that so much because we are create, we're causing ourselves pain because we're out of alignment. We're compromising core values and core standards that we have. And so I hate the saying of like, if you really want it, you'll do whatever it takes. And that's like the biggest cop out in the world, the biggest way that we can shame people and put people down from pursuing their goals and dreams is it's like, oh, well, if you're not prepared to put your entire life and well-being on the line for this goal, then you don't really want it. Oh my God, I call such freaking bullshit. What it actually means is that you are in, 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 uh, you are in integrity with yourself. You are in alignment. You have a standard and a level and a boundary that you are not willing to compromise for anything because there's also a part of you. This is the best bit. There's also a part of you that believes you can have both things. You do not need to compromise anything for your ambitions, your dreams, your goals. And there's a part of us that knows that, which is why we cannot sustain the hustle, the hard work, the struggle path, because there's a part of us that is like, wake up. What's that? What's that reel where it's like, I'm going to start doing reels now. Oh my God, I'm getting so many ideas for reels. It's like, wake up. You don't have to do it that way. Why are you doing it that way? There's like, there's a little part of us. It's like, there's this whole path where it's easy and it's flowy and it's fun and it's exciting and it's fascinating. Oh, the fuck over here. (laughs) Like, why are we forcing ourselves and creating, causing ourselves pain? And it's not a case of, oh, well, I don't, I mustn't really want it because I'm not willing to sacrifice and compromise everything I believe in. No, you're not because you are a person of integrity and you have standards and you have boundaries and you are not going to compromise 
your own self and well-being. You are not going to compromise your family life. You are not going to compromise the freedoms and the fun that you have probably worked hard up until this point to create for yourself or not because you know you deserve it and that this is the life you want to create and that your dreams and your ambitions and your goals are not worth pursuing if you have to release everything else. We get to have it all. This is a both and world. There is a both and world that we can live in. And so that's why I truly believe that there's so many people who are not able to or are not currently pursuing their goals, dreams and ambitions and therefore are not dreaming as big and being as ambitious as we really could be, which could create an incredible impact on our communities and our lives and the world is because the only path that appears available to us is one of hard work and struggle and sacrifice and compromise. And we're just standing here going, I'm not willing to do that, which is to be commended. I hope you feel the strength in that. There is a strength in you that is saying, I'm not willing to compromise that for this other thing. And I can want both. And guess what? I get to have both. But we're not told that we can have both because we are not shown another path. Okay. So what if? I'm going to paint you the picture. It's so freaking exciting. What if the journey towards the goal, the dream, the ambition, was one full of fun and ease and flow and fascination and excitement? First of all, you'd want to do it. You would talk more about it. You would share more about it. It would positively influence your whole life. Because if you not only are excited about a goal or ambition because of the potential it has and the possibility of it, but the way you're going about pursuing it creates the feelings of fun and ease and excitement and fascination within you, you're a happy person. That creates happy, successful people. (laughs) So if the journey was like that, we would keep coming back to it because we would want to, because it ha- it makes us feel good, because it's interesting, it's fascinating, it lights us up. The way that we're actually pursuing the goals lights us up and makes us excited. And because we're talking about it more and sharing it more and projecting this incredible energy and potential and possibility around it, We are connecting more with people, so more opportunities are coming up. And this is what creates the ease and flow, right? Because you're like, oh, I don't feel like I even did anything. It's like, no, because you were just so in the excitement of it. It was so pure and it was so like magnetizing that you talked to, mentioned it to everybody you spoke, you, you know, came across that day because you were so excited about it. Wouldn't you stay on the journey for so much longer? probably your whole life because the destination wouldn't actually matter. The journey is so fun that the actual realizations of the goals, of the dreams, of the ambitions become like a a, a milestone, literally like a marker on the way. But the journey is so much fun that you might camp there for a night or a week and celebrate and have fun because you're like, holy crap, I've just reached this most beautiful place. Look at this view. Look at where I've come from. Look at what's ahead of me. Look at how rich and delightful this is. And you'd sit in it and you'd camp there for a while. Just going to take this camping analogy. And then you'd be like, oh, but I kind of miss the journey now. I'm going to go back on it because, look, I can see further. I can dream bigger. I can reach higher ambitions. I can see how this can grow and impact more people and create even more of a difference in people's lives. And you'll be like, this was really fun being here, but it looks really cool to go there. So let's travel and you'd pack up your bags and your tent, you'd put on your backpack and you'd go along the journey and it would be fun and it would be exciting and you would meet fun people and you would share your journey and you would collaborate with them and it would feel effortless. 
because there's so much positive energy. So my daughter the other week, um, it was torrential rain on Sunday. It was pouring down and I had rehearsal for the Grease show um, for just an hour. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm glad you guys aren't going out in this. And she was like, oh, mummy, but you have to. And I was like, no, I want to. I want to go out in this torrential rain to go to my rehearsal and sing through a whole bunch of Grease songs. I want to. I chose to do this and that actually like... Yes, the rain, like, who cares about the rain? Like, we'll get there, we'll dry off, it'll be fine. But I want to go there. I want to go out in the rain because I get to be there at the theatre singing all these songs for an hour. So it's not, that is how when you are on a journey that is fun and fascinating and exciting and that creates the ease and flow that we talk about and you don't mind that it's pouring down with rain because you're like, I want to go sing all the songs. I want to do the thing because the thing is fun to do. And I mean, the, the Grease show has like got so many great examples for this. Like I don't really, I'm not really attached to the performances. I don't really care about the performances so much. I am so excited to be rehearsing to be in the rehearsal room tonight. I get to go to like do the choreography for beauty school dropout. And I'm like, that sounds, I get to go like just play and dance and learn choreography to beauty school dropout. That sounds like so much fun. Like the actual three months of rehearsing three times a week sounds like the most fun thing in the world. And yet a lot of people, you say that and they're like, Oh, that's quite a commitment, isn't it? And I'm like, Oh yeah, I guess it is. Like I hadn't thought about it that way I had just thought I get to go do the super fun thing three times a week for three months and I can't even imagine the person I'm going to be out the other side of this so that is the difference can you imagine you wouldn't need you wouldn't need to get to your dream either so if we come back to um business and to sort of a real life me example. <laughs> um, I started my business six years ago. I have been pursuing the dream, ambition, the goal of a business that creates six, six figures in a year in 12 months for six years. Now, I pursued that the hard way, the hustle, hard work way for about five years. And then the last 12 to 18 months, I have pursued it in the fully intuitive, self-led, aligned, ease and flow way. I cannot express to you how much more enjoyable it is doing it the ease and flow way. I just got a random invitation onto someone's podcast I things are like clicking and things are happening and it still feels um, slow in a way. Um, but the journey, my day to day experience, my week to week life is so positively impacted by spending the same, actually less hours, less hours. But to be fair, the same like intentional buckets of time focused on my business, focus on this goal. That is all the same. That has not changed. How I go about it has done a complete 180. And I have so much space in my life. I talked about this on another live stream, but I just committed to doing a show for three months and rehearsing three times a week. And yet last week I had the successful, like lucky bitch problem, <laughs> successful lazy bitch problem, depending on whether you're a Denise Duffield Thomas fan or a Rachel Symington fan of like not knowing what to do with myself. I have created so much space in my life, so much ease and flow that I have freed up all of this energy from the hustle that I can commit for three months to a show for three times a week and still sit there going, I don't know what to do with myself right now because all the things I'd usually be doing to move myself forward towards my goal, I don't want to do. I don't feel like I need to do them. I don't feel like I have to do them. And I'm still showing up. Last week I did a three-part live stream series, showing up live here. There's, I'm still showing up and everything is, is happening and yet it's full of ease and flow and fascination. Now imagine, because we all love, you know, thinking about this for ourselves because we don't like to be in pain. We don't like sacrificing and hustling and forcing ourselves. But imagine if 
Everybody with that spark of ambition inside of them knew of this path of ease and flow and excitement and fascination. And they were pursuing their ambitions this way. Imagine if we had a whole planet of people following their dreams in a way that lit them up, in a way that kept them on the path, on a way that didn't that didn't mean they have to choose between pursuing that growth and ambition or compromising core values. I mean, not that just makes for a whole lot of happy people. That makes for a whole lot of happy people, let alone, like first, the impact a whole lot of happy people would have on the world. Secondly, it's a whole lot of happy people making huge, incredible, ambitious changes for our world, for our environment, for our children. And that possibility makes me super excited, beyond (laughs) excited. That is the, like the core message. And this is another thing I just wanted to touch on a little bit, which I think really brings us back to the purpose and the journey because, um, hey, so nice to see you. Oh, did that wave at you? There we go. I don't know. Hi. Um, is that right now in business, a lot of us are focused on we really want a certain income a month or we really want more clients, more income, essentially, right? That is the like tangible 3D reality thing that we desire. Um, but we can't focus, put our focus only on that. Because I know women who are making six figures in a month, the money is coming effortlessly. The clients are coming effortlessly. And like, this is the goal, right? This is the dream. If that's all coming effortlessly without you needing to try, without you paying attention to it, with you just energetically being a match at that level, what are you left to focus on? You're left to focus on the the message and the movement that you are Uh, the values you are about, the purpose that you are here to serve. And so now, like the last 18 months, I have been following the path of ease and flow and I have not got received more clients yet. I have not received much more income, little bits here and there. And yet I have focused on the message and I have focused on the mission and the purpose and the revolution And that has lit me up and it has made showing up really easy and it has made connecting with more people really easy. And what happens when we do this, of course, the money comes, of course, our community grows, of course, we get new clients because we're focusing on the impact on the mission and the message. And again, this is a both and situation, but when we're only focused or predominantly focused on the feeling of lack, of course, and the more money, the more clients. We're not actually enjoying ourselves. <laughs> we, we shift, we start to tap into the, the old paradigm of fear and lack. When we focus on the message and our mission and we focus on how we're going about it and tapping into our intuition and the ease and flow, that taps us into love and abundance. And, if, and and this, I think, is the how that a lot of um, coaches and mentors and manifestation people, thank you, I'm glad this is landing, um, that people really, uh, they talk a lot about, but we can't, it's hard to wrap our brains around because it's hard to see where we are now and to see how we're doing things. But when we can trace like all these little parts of our journey, like is this coming from love and abundance or is this coming from fear and lack? And like I said, a lot of us are moving forward on the path of ease and flow and abundance in this new paradigm. But the conditioning is running so deep. (laughs) The conditioning runs so deep that it pops up. And so it's really important that we start to like identify what is the source of, you know, this thought or this driver, like this thing that's motivating us, like where is this coming from to figure out which paradigm it's sitting in. And that's how we can start to shift these things. 
But ultimately, I want you to be pursuing your dreams and goals and ambition because they are freaking amazing things that have so much potential and possibility in them, more than you or I can even imagine. And there is a path of ease and flow that is super exciting and super fascinating and lights you up. And let's travel that path. Let's do it that way because that doesn't ask you to compromise anything. That doesn't ask you to sacrifice. That doesn't ask you to compromise. It doesn't ask you to struggle. It does not ask you to introduce pain and suffering into your life. Could go on a whole like devil rant right there. But right, right. So (laughs) there is a part two coming because I know this is very much an introduction, right? You're like, okay, yes. I am so here, I get that, I'm so lit up, I'm committed to this new path, but how? Because when we start doing that, when we start saying, all right, I'm going to start noticing when this stuff comes up, but how do I shift it? And there's been a lot of, you know, tools and modalities and and things along my journey that have allowed me to do that. So I'm going to do another live video, um, don't know, tomorrow or it'll be next week talking about that. But I want to invite you into um, the Ease and Ambition Circle. So this is a woman's circle. It's a mastermind. It's a support group for women who are pursuing their ambitions and are committed to this path of ease and flow. Um, it might not feel a whole lot of a whole lot of easy and flowy at the moment which is totally fine that's what the circle is about because i have created this in my life so much space so much energy so much time i literally don't know what to do with it sometimes <laughs> what do i do right now i don't know um and i have so much energy to connect more with my family and to like do those extra little things that we really want to be doing And so the Ease and Ambition Circle, it's going to be a month-long women's circle support group mastermind for women pursuing their ambitions and committed to doing it with ease and flow. It is very much the safe space where you can come and land on your journey. You are probably leading every the fuck where else in your life with your family, with your business, with, you know, things you're volunteering for, with, you know, your friends, your family, like you're probably leading everywhere else. This is a place that has no expectations on you. I'm like, is that entirely true? No, but we expect you to show up as you are in whatever energy you are to share exactly what you are feeling going through. And there is no pressure to show up for anybody else, to be honest. The primary thing is you show up for you. I love the concept of a women's circle because it is so powerful to hear other women going through the same things or similar things. So we're on the same journey, but all our journeys look a little bit different. And it is so powerful to hear that other women get it and relate. And we're like, oh, we're not alone. Um, So we want you to show up as you are, as your whole self, in the energy you're in, whether that is messy or not messy, whether you're articulate or you just like are word vomiting and don't know if you're making any sense, that is what this space is for. The circle is open 24-7. It's going to be hosted on Voxer um, as a voice messaging group, um, which I absolutely love. If you've used Voxer before, yes, you can text message. Yes, you can share images and video as well, which is super fun. Um, But this is a space for you. It's a space for you to take up, for you to take up space whenever you need it. So 24-7, whatever you're experiencing, whenever you're experiencing it, this space is here for you to debrief, to vent, to rant, (laughs) to integrate, to process, whatever you need to help you work through whatever's come up for you in that moment. That is what this space is for. So first of all, it is a safe space for you to do that, to be to be witnessed and held and seen for you to process and integrate and rant and vent and not be afraid that you're going to be criticized or um, gaslit or like any of those things. It's like, no, your word is truth. Your truth is truth in this space. Secondly, there is a whole lot of support from the other women 
and there is a whole lot of mentoring from me. So I am in the space replying to everything, showing up for you, to support you, to guide you, to um, to support you to get to the clarity you want, to bring you back to yourself and your own intuition and your own clarity. Um, this whole intuitive self leadership thing, like I, you know the answer, and I'm here to support and guide you back to yourself and back to that answer, um, and also to show you a whole lot of possibilities. A lot of the times we don't know what to do next because we don't know that the option that matches us is even available. So that's really important. Um, the other thing with it being on Voxer, voice messaging 24-7, is that it fits in and around our lives. You can be taking the baby for a walk and voice messaging. You can be cooking dinner and voice messaging. You can be on the toilet and voice messaging. Been there, done that. <laughs> It fits around our lives and it allows us to communicate across time zones. Uh, I'm in New Zealand. You can be anywhere else in the world and you can still have this space available to you and this support available to you. So if this is something that is lighting you up, that is sounding amazing, that has sparked your curiosity, please message me for more information. If you need it, if you just need the link to join, then message me and I will get you that. There is no pressure. If you just want to have a chat about it and you've got some more questions and you're feeling into whether this is something you want to do, um, because that's how I make all of my investment decisions, then you are more than welcome to message me to... Um, have a chat and for me to support you in feeling it out. And if it's not the right timing, it's not the right timing. If it is the right timing, but it's a little bit scary or you're, or whatever, then yeah, let's, let's work through that and do that. But honestly, um, I have had so many experiences with programs joining them and then not even knowing the start date and then the start dates hitting long later than I thought they would but with the perfect divine timing and so just like we'll be doing in the circle I want to if you're curious about this to support you um through making this decision just like I will any other decision in in your life and business um if you decide to join uh, in this self-led intuitive way so we do start on August 23rd with the full moon and it's 111 US dollars for the whole month long experience of support. So DM me if you're interested, if you've got any other questions, if you want any other information and I will uh, come on live again um, probably next week, maybe tomorrow if I get super inspired um, to share more about like how I have connected in. But I did do that whole three part series last week about intuition and connecting into your intuition. And that touches on a lot of it uh, on human design, a little on cyclical living and about um <laughs> excuse me and about not looking outside of yourself for answers and how to come back into even figuring out what a yes is for you so I look forward to chatting with you in the dms um I hope you've got a lot out of just listening to this and that it's allowed you to connect into that spark of ambition that I know is inside of you if you'd like to dm me and share what that little crazy wild ambition is I would love to hear it and hold that sacred private space for you to just speak it or text it out loud to somebody else because it does always feel a little bit more real um, by doing that so if you feel called to do that I'd absolutely be honored if you shared that with me in my dms and I would absolutely keep that private and confidential um so thank you so much let's go pursue our dreams with ease and flow and not compromising ourselves because we are strong damn powerful women here to change the world no doubt all right have a great day